All right. I don't know how many of you are aware of this dude. Uh, he makes some really cool Star Citizen content that really is is nothing but testing equipment, <clears throat> shield holes, physics. He's always playing the game in a manner of which I hope how every Evocati member could play the game. Every serious bug tester out there that's a gamer that's really playing the PTU in such a way that they're helping Cloud Imperium. If there was like one or two channels I would say that are really necessary that Cloud Imperium Games employees watch, it's this man's channel, uh, Camero, who does work on gameplay and physics within the game, um, which helps with design. I mean, it directly is correlated with the design of the game. And the second channel I would say that right now <clears throat> that I'm really into is a dude named Astro Chronicles who does a lot of his own design for already designed assets in, in Star Citizen and ships, but also uh, theory crafts and creates new assets, you know, that, that like racing beacons that are definitely needed by people like Atmo Esports. But anyhow, Camriel does all this work here in game and he's he's I think he's very underrated. Uh, not a lot of people know who he is. I wanted to watch uh, uh, one of his pieces here that I always bitch about physics. I, if there's anything I can be negative about and, and with clarity and certainty of Star Citizen, for those people that call me a white knight, you know, take a moment here and realize I'm saying there is definitely areas in the game that can be better uh, in terms of, of the, the gameplay. And in one area that I think is the bruise <laughs> on Cloud Imperium's uh, project is the physics. The physics are just horrible. There's so much clipping. Uh, you know, there's so many areas where, where I see way too much, uh, way too many issues with physics. And and here's an, a video from Cameo talking about ejecting into ships with and without the interior. And he's, he's going to be testing physics. He's going to be testing physics, and I'll probably blow up. Hello, everyone. As but he does a good know, job at it. Ejection, your character gets catapulted out of the ship and your ship explodes. I have no idea why your ship has to explode, but this is how it is right now. <laughs> and that Check German accent. Curious, can we destroy ships parked nearby with this explosion? The answer is no. Anything nearby is not affected, but the ship you ejected out of is totally destroyed. And this has nothing to do with Armistice Zones, we did it in non-Armistice Zones too. On the video, Austin M left a comment, what about hovering the Cladius over the Scorpius and see what happens. And this is why I love this channel and what Cam is doing because he's taking suggestions from people in his community and he's, he's testing the game out in every single way. And really... I want Cloud Imperium to take a, 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 a five minutes out of their day to watch this dude's channel, <laughs> you know, because like, you know, a lot of times I wonder like how much bug reporting is going on or, or, and, and the quality assurance section of, of Cloud Imperium, uh, a lot of the QA people uh, working on, on the game, playing the game, trying to find these bugs, dude, we can find you all the bugs you need. We can find you all day long song, but are they being reported correctly? I wish there was a way to really dig deep and find out like how many of these bug reports are legitimately done correctly. Number one, but like also have some credence to it. And how many of these bug reports are being read by the people who are involved with, with reporting the, you know, taking these reports. And then what happens after that? Because sometimes I think like maybe there's just not a lot of people out there reporting the bugs, you know? I, I, and maybe that's one of the reasons why some of these issues take so damn long, you know, but I, I, I want to start seeing these problems get like pegged down. I, I definitely want to be that voice that, that is out there saying, Hey, we want some help on some physics and flight experience and AI. Like these are areas that I think that we're going to see cloud Imperium get into because of the focus on squadron 42. I could be wrong, but they probably want to get squadron 42 out the gate and start selling it to recoup the money that they spent on all the actors and actresses in Squadron 42 since they were A-list actors and actresses. So I, I do think that we'll see a lot of work in AI and physics and flight experience and things that are directly correlated with gameplay. Just just my opinion, but let's keep watching. happens when you eject into the other ship? 
Yeah, this looks very interesting. So let's yeah, I do I it. think I think there's an issue there, Oz. I really do. Yeah, we have a Gladius park and, and yes, they an do error, like this. and error pilot will use ejection. <laughs> I am very curious. What will this happen? This is fun to watch too. To like it's Kledius. fun the testing that they do. Now eject. And oh. he is hitting the Cladius. Cladius oh. is losing her right cana, but Cladius is totally fine while Arrow is totally The Gladius destroyed. should not be fine. Not there should be some the damage zone. to the Gladius. It should have took a lot of damage right there. As you can see, right. self status, nothing. Nothing. Nothing it's happened to orange it. Orange or red. Right. And shields didn't even go right. down. No, that's not and good. And of course, Arrow Pilot died. We don't have parachutes or retro trusters yet. We need parachutes, right? We need parachutes for real. You see that physics? He just like scooted up the bottom end of that Gladius and then flew up into the air. Yeah. Look look at that. Look at that. It, it's... <sighs> the other thing is when you're like clipping into into a ship, like if you... Or the elevators and, you know, the clipping in, involved in terms of physics when you're pushing up against objects when you're playing the game... I like the slow mo there. That was cool. Here we have a freelancer parked over an arrow cockpit area, and this time arrow pilot is not flying straight up. He's flying a bit to the right side. What? I parked the freelancer <laughs> perfectly fine. Not my fault. Let's check self status. Right, Come right, on. right, right. Smooth. Right, Brian. Yeah. Brian. Shields didn't go down. Nothing is. Red. And again, error pilot died. Let's watch this. The, again. L like, that, the, that just is not the way shit should go down. You know what I mean? They really have to work on this. Like, this is something that they really have to work on. I don't think I've seen that happen yet, Bricks. No, we are but to if I do, we'll be the first to watch it here. This is a cargo elevator. And I already know what happens because I've done this before. I am now very close to the Andromeda cargo elevator. <laughs> right, limitless. Yeah, you are ejecting into the Andromeda. Yeah. Your pilot doesn't take any damage. Your ship, Cladius, These is basic destroyed. Andromeda game design physics fine. yeah you can use this to enter quite a lot of ships there's a lot of clipping in this game and i'm not too happy with this because yeah here she says we are responsible for our cargo and again we have this bug that i cannot see the other pilot but he can see me wait a second yeah, there I am. Ejecting into a vacuum <laughs> what? is a cargo what? area. I try to be very close and now eject. Yeah, there's and, and then go into the ship the because there's too much area. So you see what happened there, right? So that's good. So I you know, like you guys can see what's happening there, right? Pilots ejecting the surface area of the Valkyrie is so large and wide that there's really no way that the the player is going to slide up the side and off the side and up as it did before on the other ships. The Valkyrie is too big. So it literally took the pilot and clipped him up into the ship, you know. Unharmed. Pretty much identical to these Andromeda. exploits, can you know, and we got to be careful with this stuff. This stuff needs fixed now before later. It needs to, it, this stuff is really what needs to be looked at first before anything else because you're going to have a lot of people exploiting. Imagine you're in a war with another organization and you're and you're very aware of an exploit like this and you want to board the ship, you just self destruct. Uh, you 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 fucking eject. You clip up into the ship as a, as a squad, and you wipe it out, and uh, you take the ship. You know, it depends what kind of ship you have. Obviously, you you don't want to do it in expensive ships. Uh, get get a cheaper ship, and just eject into it and upgrade yourself into a bigger ship. You know, so these are exploits that need to be figured out now. While we're in the game design phase, you know, because I can see down the road, this is going to be huge. It's going to be this 
like uh, people are just going to be like, I, I, you know, I can't take the game seriously because I'm, I'm going up into the ship and I'm hijacking the ship with ease because of an exploit in the game. So these are things like when I, when I talk about star citizen physics, you know, and we, we spell physics with an X <laughs> and I, you know, this is why when you guys see me go star citizen physics and I do this, you know, because I'm just like, ah, really needs to be worked on. Walk around. Yeah, you can enter a lot of ships with this. This is very bad <laughs> because you are responsible for your ship <laughs> and them. your cargo, but we don't even have keys and everyone can enter our ships. Just abuse yeah. clipping. Yeah, just abuse clipping. Right, 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 Camero. See, this is why I like Here's this my dude's conclusion. channel. When you are checked out of a ship, it Science. explodes a few seconds later. Listen, listen, this guy, I, I watch him when it comes to like shield holes. This guy helps out a lot as a PvP -er and a PvE, -er, and I'm going to tell you why. Because on every ship he's done testing with, he shows you where the holes are at. He shows you where your shield holes at. He shows you the vulnerabilities. He's also showing people that are PvPing trying to shoot down other ships. I mean, I consider Cameo's channel not only great for Cloud Imperium to watch, but great for anybody to watch that that's involved in trying to stay alive or to kill people in Star Citizen. <laughs> because he, he's literally pointing out all the exploits for you. It's a resource. It's definitely a resource channel. I've used it as a resource channel plenty of times. Ships nearby don't take any damage from this explosion. If you are checked in atmosphere or on the ground, your character dies when hitting the ground because we don't have parachutes or retro thrusters yet. If you are checked into a ship without an interior, your character slides along the ship and continues his trajectory. If you are checked into a ship with an interior, your character appears inside the ship unharmed. Yeah, good thing we are responsible Larger for our ship ships and our cargo. By the way, you can do the same thing with, for example, track and fly dismount. I had a lot of fun doing this. I hope you had a lot of fun watching it. And see you next time. Bye. Oh. Auf Wiedersehen. Yeah. Camryl's doing good work. And I got, I hope that Cloud Imperium are doing lists like these. Like, I have to hope that <laughs> there's employees involved with the game design, you know, and that they have lists like this. Because if they don't, Jesus, it just makes me all types of upset. I'm sure they do. I'm sure they do. Please. <laughs> but. Camural is doing the testing that needs to be done to make the game better. Camural is doing good work. Uh, and Camural is somebody who, let's see where he's at. Uh, 5,000, 5 5.7 thousand subscribe five. Yeah. 5.7 thousand subscribers thereabouts. He definitely deserves a lot more attention. I am going to go ahead and, and, and put this uh, in the chat. This is a guy who, has been involved with this project for a very long time. German dude seems pretty legit in doing a lot of game testing for Star Citizen. So if you're a fan of Star Citizen and you really want to help out with testing or you really want to help out with bug reporting, I'd say get with this dude. You know, If you're really into that, do it. I'm just concerned maybe there's not a lot of people or gamers out there that are doing this type of work. I mean, that's my real biggest fear when I'm seeing like such types of physics, physics issues that I'm seeing right now. The physics grid is just it's, it's horrendous. It's horrendous. And I want some work to be put into it this year. A lot of it. In fact, next.